One thing I've noticed is that depression kind of sits on us like an elephant, paralyzing us and making it really hard to do anything, anything at all. But anger, ooh, anger can be empowering. Now, of course, we have to be careful how we use our anger, how we use our fire, but when fire is introduced, sometimes that's when movement happens. The moon moves away from the water sign Cancer today and instead moves into fire sign Leo. So it's like a breath of fresh air. You know, the heavy emotions that have been in and out and ebbing and flowing throughout every single day this week, they're finally giving way to a bit of sunshine within our hearts. And that's a really beautiful thing. It's like the bluebird of happiness here. There's a sense of being able to appreciate whatever you've got, especially if you've been able to ride out the storms of this week and kind of you know, either be patient with yourself or find a new way to navigate situations with other people. Um, today ha holds a lot of possibility to be able to kind of look fresh at your situation. So if you have the opportunity to kind of pause and reflect and debrief with yourself or maybe somebody close to you about whatever it is that happened during the week, if you're able to get a fresh perspective, you can possibly bring new life into a situation. And like I said, when the heavy emotions lift today, it is an opportunity to recharge yourself and reinvigorate yourself to potentially move into a new different uh, direction, uh, coming out of a place of despair and coming into a place of empowerment. Um, it's a really beautiful opportunity to start fresh. And tomorrow is a new moon, which is going to be a really good opportunity to start fresh indeed. Now, the new moon carries a lot of metaphors. For example, one is planting a seed. And in the Nine of Pentacles, which funny enough keeps coming up over the last couple of days, um, in the Nine of Pentacles, we see somebody reaping the rewards of seeds that they have planted many, many years ago. Um, that's the, the long vision that we have to hold for ourselves. We have to have an understanding it's much like a marathon or a chess game. You really have to have that long vision, that long game. Uh, so as much as you can, have patience with your process. Have the wisdom to pick your battles and love yourself unconditionally. I'm Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. I've got full-length detailed horoscopes coming out Sunday morning on my YouTube channel. So definitely go check those out. And I will see you every, every day for your daily tarot and astrology. Bye, guys.